Okay, before we lose the last bits of light here, which is terribly soon, I wanna go and get up there. I mean, autumn colors already. Very nice. Get some sunlight in the hill drum. Kind of know the location. And by now, you should know the location as well if you are a viewer of my channel. If not, hello and welcome. Check out my older videos from here. It's still quite intense to fly here. You never know where you leave line of sight. I should be good this way. Ah, that's amazing. Image quality is astounding with Goggle 3. Still a bit of uncomfortableness, knowing that the firmware wasn't the best in the beginning with O3, but it's just a kind of view. Once again, so scary. Think where I have to fly back. <laughs> okay, let's cover the trees. Myself, in case you're wondering. <laughs> oh, that's dark. A dark dive. Out of my five. Ah, yeah, that's one of the coolest dive possibilities here. Amazing. Hello and welcome RC Shim after the flight because before the flight I didn't have a lot of time. I didn't want to waste sunlight because yeah the sun hides behind the mountain already. A little bit of sunlight left up there. But it's one of the most epic places that I know within reach of like one hour drive. Hope you liked this dive here. I came here a few times. Check out the other videos in the playlist up here. It's one of the coolest spots and I even flew here with a KK2 board. Let me know in the comments if you remember KK2 boards. It was, uh, it was yeah, not safe to fly. <laughs> Of course, without uh, any GPS return home and so forth. So, in the meantime, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for being a subscriber. 
and for your comments. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.